Let's take you to the 2022 matric class, which has delivered excellence despite the rolling blackouts, COVID-19, and many other challenges in the classroom. Basic Education Minister Angie Motecha yesterday applauded all grade 12 pupils from government schools for their performance. The 2022 matric certificate pass rate has increased to 80.1% from 76 0.4% in 2021. We're joined now in studio by matriculant Unatika Kanamnisi from Hillview High School to tell us more about her journey. She's also achieved some excellent results. A very good evening to you. Thank you so much for coming in studio. What an outstanding achievement. Thank you so much for having me. Good evening to you, Alt and Paul, and all the viewers at home. Thank you for having you me. You did so well. Thank you. I mean, I look here, there's four distinctions, but you could have easily bagged all seven. How I does couldn't. it feel? Because it's only a, a few percentage points that could have resulted in you getting all seven distinctions. I am, I think, 10% shy of six distinctions. I am so proud of myself. It has been a very straining year, and I am so proud of the results that I was able to achieve. It makes me very happy. And the journey, I mean, it must have taken a lot. I mean, I've just spoken to all the challenges that have come with 2022, COVID-19, rolling blackouts. We heard of some learners who were talking about how difficult it was to study when there was no power. It was. It was very difficult to study. I think the most difficult thing I had to do was align my study timetable with the load skating schedule. It got very hectic sometimes during um, the higher stages of load shedding. It was very challenging but we were able to do it despite no cheating. That's amazing. Thank you. What did it take in terms of finding the perfect balance and also getting the right support to continue throughout the year? I think a good support system is very crucial because, like I said, a matric is very straining. I would say the teachers at my school were the strongest support system. They were there, always there to assist whenever you need help. My family and my friends, I couldn't have done this year without them. They were my biggest support systems. What do you think are some of the big challenges that you had to go through throughout the year? The biggest one is definitely load shedding. Like you said, load shedding was very difficult. It was difficult trying to find your way around load shedding, trying to study. Um, and I think the biggest, um, the second biggest would be metric in general. Metric is very hard. There's a lot of information. And I'd say we don't have enough time. Like by September, mm -hmm. we have to have covered the whole curriculum. So that is definitely some of the challenges that we face. Do you think that's a gap for the education department to perhaps improve in some form or fashion to allow the pressure to perhaps be a little bit less? I'd say so. I think yeah. the department has done a very good job for the 2022 year. But I think in terms of the curriculum, starting as early as possible is one of the um, gaps that they would they should fill in as well as um, the release of the 2022 um, results I think it was a bit late and yeah. that is one of the gaps that they have to sort out the wait hey, was long it was excruciating waiting for that long it was nerve-wracking it was very nervous I was very nervous throughout um, so I'd say the results need to be released a little bit earlier yeah I'd yeah. say that is what needs to be improved your future is bright now. I mean, you have this paper that allows you to chart a way forward. What are you going to do? Um, the matric is definitely the beginning of my life. I will be studying law. I got three on my way to pitch my statement at school. I got three offers from UJ, BITS, UCT, which are some of the best um, institutions of higher learning. I will be studying law, my LLB, and now it's about making a decision between the top three most amazing universities in South Africa. And in terms of offers, I mean, did you get any sort of offers around a, a bursary, perhaps, uh, anything like that? No, I have not gotten a bursary, but I've definitely applied, and I will keep on applying. Um, I think my results speak for themselves, and I would like to believe that bursaries will see that. And when, you, when it comes to giving some advice, I mean, some people, I mean, millions, of course, around the country, are going to be starting their matric year mm. this year. Yes. What advice would you give to them? I'd say this is the year to focus, to improve, to be motivated, because the results are worth it. Um, your blood, sweat, and tears throughout the year is going to be so worth it when you receive your statement and you are the happiest girl or boy in this world. Yeah. It is very rewarding. And it must have taken a lot of 
preparation, emotional preparation, and in terms of, you know, believing that it's all possible. What was that process like for you? It was very challenging. Um, some of um, my subjects are very difficult. Um, preparing for them mentally has been very um, challenging. For example, economics, it was very challenging. It's a tough subject, but it is my highest. I got 92% yeah. on economics. It is my highest out of all my subjects. And I think um, it was very challenging mentally and emotionally, but I think um, you have to keep on pushing. You have to strive and push nonetheless because, like I said, the results are going to be worth it yeah. when they come. Absolutely, and they have proven worth it this time around. Definitely. When it comes to your home life, your social life, how did you manage the balance? It was, di it was very difficult. Like I said, metric is very exhausting. I would come back home extremely tired. The first thing I would do when I get home is sleep. And I think it has taken a toll on my social life. I couldn't see my friends as much. And family gatherings, I had to miss family gatherings, weddings, funerals in some cases. And that has been very difficult. But I think it is necessary to um, do that, to miss social gatherings, to miss family gatherings um, for this year because it is the most crucial year of your um, education yeah. and it, it's worth it. Absolutely. Focus and discipline. Congratulations. You. Wishing you all the best. Uh, may you become an excellent lawyer and perhaps you'll help me out at some point. I hey. got you. <laughs>